the subscriber specifically asked me that he wanted information on how to do this. So if you already know how to train the birds, skip this video. Uh, this is specifically for somebody that wants to know how to do it for the first time. So if you already know how to do that, if you want to watch the video, you can watch the video. But this is for a specific subscriber that needs help. So I just want to help him out. Welcome everybody, welcome back to 0260 Loft everyone. It's Wednesday, today I believe is Wednesday, November the 10th. And I'm just doing a small video here. I have one of my subscribers that needs a little bit of help. He asked me some questions today. Uh, for example, he wants to know, he said he got some new baby birds that are about a month old and he already lost a couple of them because he forced them to fly. And all I have to say is when it comes to, when it comes to birds pigeons and baby pigeons um, you can't really force them to fly only because they get to more or less pick and choose when they're ready to fly so I'm gonna kind of go over uh, real quick how I do it what I do the method that I use that's worked for me uh, there's many different ways of doing it this is just the way that I like to do it so normally when the birds are about first of all there's a difference between a bird being born here and then a bird that you actually buy from somebody at a young age so that's the there's two differences I personally feel you can purchase a young bird and bring it home and you can still train it to return to your loft and then also there's you can hold on to those birds wait for them to mature and then once like six or seven, eight months later, when they're old enough to breed, you breed those birds. And then the babies that are born here usually have a lot better, a lot better instinct as far as homing, for example. So what I do is uh, I'll wait for the birds to be 30 days old. Once they're 30 days old, I start to, I put them in the aviary here for about two hours, three hours, sometimes four. And I just leave them up there for a good while. So let me show you what it looks like. I, I, I leave them in this, I leave them in this uh, viewing cage. I ca it's called a settling cage. Uh, maybe about two weeks, about 10 days for anywhere between two, three and four hours. And as you can see, it's the entrance to my loft is, is here, but it's closed right now. And that's, that's basically all that it is is uh, you know I have this I have them in this area here so they're just kind of like viewing and they're gonna be up here until I start to call them in and what I do is I only feed them once a day and I use this okay it's always the same sound and I whistle when I call them in so they already know when they hear this it's time to eat so like I said I feed them once a day when I get home from work and I always use this feed call when I call them in. So right now, this is about their, maybe, they have about three more days or two more days of being in the aviary cage here in this little viewing cage or settling cage. And then after that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and let them out maybe in the next few days. This one's already been out, actually. He's a little more mature. He's just molting. He's in there just for, for the video. So again, I wanna answer some questions. How old do they have to be before you let them out? I like them to be one month and a half, 45 days old. It could be one month and a half. It could be 40 days old, 35. As long as you feel that when you see that the birds can fly from the bottom to the top of the perch, when they can fly up on their own, that's when you know that it's okay for them to go outside and, you know, Basically, they can fly when you can see that they can fly. And then the subscriber also said, well, I noticed that they don't go anywhere. They don't do anything. They just want to go back inside or they're really scared or they see some kind of a predator in the nearby area. So that could be another possibility. But nonetheless, this is what I do. I keep them up here for about 10 days. After that, we let them out. And I'll be making a video about that here shortly. So, yeah. Hold on. I hope I answered your guys' questions. Again, this is going to be a very simple video. The way that I do it is when the birds are born, 
28 days old, 29 days old, I put him in the loft. I put him in here. And then in about three days, once they're okay, I wait for them to fly from the floor to a perch to a top. When I see that they can fly on their own, then I know that it's okay for me to start trap training them. Trap training them from here to go in. Trap training. About 10 days or maybe 15 days trap training only. Okay? I use the feed call. I feed them one time a day. And it's, it's all about a routine, just consistency. I go to work, come home, I put them in the cage, I wait two hours, I get the food ready, and then when I'm ready to call them in, I start to trap train. And I'll show you how I do that in just a moment. So you have to do that for about 15 days, about two weeks, maybe 10 days. When you see, when you see that the birds are trapping really good, that's an indication that the birds already know what's going on. So what I do after that, once they're done trap training and I know that they can fly and that they trap train well, the next thing after that is I let them out. I'll open this door here. I'll open that door, that one, and I'll let them go out on their own. They'll go outside, they'll land here, they'll go up here, and they'll just, the first maybe one or two days, they just jump around. They don't do anything. They just stay here. They don't go anywhere. And then maybe like around the third or the fourth day that you let them out, they'll little by little start to fly around. They'll start to, you know, want to do small circles. They'll land on the roof. But you have to remember, don't give them any food. You have to wait. So you, when you let them out, you have to let them out on an empty stomach. Okay? It's very important that you let them out with no food. You have to wait. And then that's it, you let them out, they'll fly around a little bit and then they'll come back down looking for the food when you start calling them in because if you feed them, they're not going to come in. So don't feed them. After you trap train them 15 days or 12 days, you let them out on an empty stomach when they're hungry and then they're going to jump around. When they're finished, about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, when they're done, when it's time to eat, then you call them in with this. Come on. And the birds, they need to come home and go inside the trap. That's what, that's the goal. For the birds to listen when it's time to come inside. Once you do that, once the birds understand inside with the food, that's when you can start letting them fly a little bit longer. 45 minutes, one hour. But every time hungry and every time ready for them to come in when you call them in. That's how you do it. Whistle and feed call. I hope this helps um i'll try to put in a couple more little bits in the video but that's pretty much all i got for right now okay so now i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how i call in the birds okay this is uh this is part of trap training so the birds have been up in the trap and i'm about to call them down right now with the food call like i said so this is how i do it Birds are up in the trap. I'm about to. Call. I'm gonna open the trap, and I'm gonna call them in. Okay. Now well, that's the goal here. Here we go. See how we do here. All right. Those are the babies right here. That's the baby. <clears throat> OK, 
case you guys are wondering what birds these are, uh, these are actually some hens that I'm going to be working with for next year. Um, my, my grizzle, my other grizzle back there, I got some blue bars, beautiful blue bars by the way. So uh, this is going to be for 2022 season. So we're working with. Zero 0260 loft. Zero 0260 loft checking out. We'll be back with another video soon. Okay, so in short, I just want to go ahead and uh, and finish this video by explaining again the, the technique. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to explain as best as I can so that the uh, the subscriber understands the, the process. Um, he has young birds. So I know that in the video earlier, you know, when I was recording, I, I try to explain, but... If you want to make notes, okay, this is how it's this is how it's gonna this is how it's gonna work. So, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is you have to get the birds, the baby birds, on a feeding program. You feed them one time a day, the exact same time, okay. Um, I like to feed my birds in the evening only because I work, so I feed them when I get home every day, the same time, the same amount, okay. You don't want to feed them a lot. You want to feed them maybe like two tablespoons or one tablespoon per bird. So depending on how many birds you have. You know, like a good pinch. All right. <clears throat> okay. So once you get them in the habit of feeding them once a day or your consistent feeding pattern. Okay. As far as training young birds. Okay. What you want to do, what you want to focus on is the feed call. You know, the can with the, with the seeds in it. What you want to go ahead and do is make sure that they understand that when they hear that feed call, it's time for them to come in. Okay, that's very important. Next, after that, when the birds are 30 days old, you feed call, they learn, they learn that it's time to come in. Okay, so then what do you do after that? Okay, every single day, you put them in the viewing cage for two, three, four hours, five hours if you can, the more the better, so they can see. From there, you trap train them if you can, you need to put the cage at the entrance, like me, so that when you open the trap and you call them in, they come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Ten times. Ah. All right. Sorry about the interruption. Where was I? Okay. So you do the feed call. So they're 30 days old. Then what you do is uh, you put them in the viewing cage at the entrance of the trap, if you can. And then what you want to do is you want to feed call them in, feed call them in until they learn that. So what do you do after that? After you know that they trap train and you're ready to let them go, okay? You open the cage. You open the trap. You open the trap, make sure that the birds are hungry. Okay? So like one hour before you give them food, whatever day you decide, you open the, the loft or the trap whatever and you let them out and the subscriber said well the birds don't do anything they just they just hang around they they come back inside so a maybe they're too hungry maybe they're too hungry too much hungry so you have to make sure that you you have to have the food just right uh also maybe they can feel they can see a, a predator like a hawk or a falcon or something like that so they're scared um, and then that's pretty much it. So what you want to go ahead and do, get the feed call down. You feed them the same amount, the same, the same time every day. Then once you know that they know how to trap, you open the trap and you let them go out. If they only fly around a little bit, that's fine. 20, 30 minutes, you call them in with the feed can. They come in. You do this every day. You open the trap. You let them out. The birds go out. They fly. They fly for five minutes, ten minutes. When you see that they're just hanging around, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you call them in with the feed. You give them the food every day. Pretty soon, the birds are going to, sooner or later, the birds are going to fly away. They're going to fly. They're going to take off maybe 20 minutes, 10 minutes. 30 minutes, they, they're going to go around and around and around. And then 
you always want to do you always want to let them out maybe like around like in the evening like maybe one or two hours before sunset that way they, they go out they fly around and then it gets a little bit dark then the birds will come in they'll come back inside and then yeah you once you see them come back you call them in you trap train them in they come in pretty simple and you do that for maybe about a week two weeks one month when you see that the birds they fly away for one hour one hour they're gone they're not coming back in one hour okay the next day you put them in the basket and you drive let's say i don't know two miles three miles away from your house okay not not far away not very far away but maybe like two two or three miles away and then you let them go one hour before you feed them so the same time you would open the loft you take them one hour before you take them to this place and you let them go the birds will go out and they'll fly so after you train them for three miles and you see that the birds come home and they trap and you give them the food the next day you do again three miles okay and then in two more days you take them five miles okay you do five miles two times five miles you let them go the birds will go home five miles you let them go the birds will go home then the next week you do seven miles 10 miles 15 miles and like that you start taking your time you know but you start slow three three five five seven seven ten fifteen fifteen twenty twenty 25 30 30 like that that's how you do it that's how i did it okay start slow 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 and then 7 10 15 15 20 25 25 30 30 35 40 like that that's the method that you want to use and then uh, I can't think of anything else. I know that I missed a lot of information. I really hope that this answers your question. Um, I'm trying not to make the video too long, but um, the subscriber specifically asked me that he wanted information on how to do this. So if you already know how to train the birds, skip this video. Uh, this is specifically for somebody that wants to know how to do it for the first time. So if you already know how to do that, if you want to watch the video you can watch the video but this is for a specific subscriber that needs help so i just want to help him out so i hope this video helps you let me know in the comments what you think and if you have additional questions just put them in the comments as well and uh, i'll do my best to answer your question okay thank you for watching and uh, again like i said in about two days i'm going to be letting out the baby birds for the first time so you're going to be able to see that uh, when i let them out and um it's a little bit kind of scary, but uh, you should be okay. So uh, again, thank you for watching 0260 Loft, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.